Biết từ này video luôn nha Scratch sau Phí Ok Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear each recording twice. One. Where are the woman's glasses? I can never find my glasses. Where did you have them last? I either had them when I was working, or I left them in the lounge when I was watching television. <laughs> They're not in either of those places, you know. You're wearing them. Oh, now, yeah, now. Lát rồi con, có nghe kịp không? Thì con chỉ con đi nổi lên lại Ừ, mới bị lát á
Now listen again. I can never find my glasses. Where did you have them last? I either had them when I was working, or I left them in the lounge when I was watching television. <laughs> They're not in either of those places, you know. You're wearing them. Tắt tiếng ngon, tắt tiếng, mở tiếng, mở tiếng, mở tiếng Chọn con nào? Đây Đây Ok, ráng nghe vừa, nghe vừa, nghe, okay, nghe nhiều từ nhé 2. What damage was done to the car? I'm really annoyed. Someone's damaged my car again. Don't tell me someone scratched the paint again. No, not scratches this time. Someone's put paint all over the side. Go now, go. Mở tiếng, mở tiếng, mở tiếng. B. Không phải nha. Cái sự khác nhau giữa câu B câu C là gì? Đúng không? Đúng là scratch là nó chạy nhưng mà câu C nó cũng dùng cái từ scratch luôn. Nghe lại nha. Một cái chìa khó, một cái là cái sơn là gì? Tiếng Anh cái sơn là gì? Đó, đúng không? Paint. And giống như từ painting đó con vẽ paint put scratch paint over now listen again i'm really annoyed someone's damaged my car again don't tell me someone scratched the paint again no not scratches this time someone's put paint all over the side put uh, put put paint why don't you scratch that okay. three what did she bring Did you remember to bring some toothpaste? I think so. Wait a minute, I'll look. Soap, towel, toothbrush. Uh, no, sorry, I forgot. Now listen again. Did you remember to bring some toothpaste? I think so. Oh, we do. Thank you, keep me up. Oh, wait a minute, I'll look. Soap, towel, toothbrush. Uh, no, sorry, I forgot. Nó hỏi toothpaste mà đúng không? Nhưng mà con này nó chỉ mang toothbrush. Four. What did Sally buy? I see you've been shopping, Sally. What have you got in the bag? Well, I went into town to buy a new skirt, but I've come back with a t-shirt and a pair of jeans. I thought you wanted some new shoes too. Yes, I did, but I couldn't find any I liked. Nó mua cái nào? Nó đã mua cái nào? Không phải là xin dự định mua. Tiền mà. Now listen again. I see you've been shopping, Sally. What have you got in the bag? Well, I went, but I couldn't find any I liked. Five. Where are the man and his grandma? Hello, grandma. Can I carry your case? Oh, that's nice of you. Thank you for coming to meet me. Traveling always makes me so nervous. Don't worry. We'll be in the car soon and it won't take long to get home. Good. I'll be glad to get away from this noisy station. Now listen again. 
Hello, Grandma. Can I carry your case? Oh, that's nice of you. Thank you for coming to meet me. Travelling always makes me so nervous. Don't worry. We'll be in the car soon, and it won't take long to get home. Good. I'll be glad to get away from this noisy station. Chỗ nào? Xe. Ờ, đang ở chỗ nào đúng không? Nó sẽ vào xe và thời gian ngắn nhất, ok? Để cho cái bà, bà này bà không chịu được. Chỉ có A và B nhưng mà cái nào? B. B là con phải nghe lại gì? B là gì? Không phải là nơi để ổn ào. Nhưng mà nói gì gì? Nói gì gì? Không đó. Nhưng mà bi 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 lấy gì? Bi lấy gì? Bi gọi lấy gì? Đúng không? Cái bi cái địa điểm cái chỗ đó nó phải là Câu A câu B cái cái địa điểm của câu A là cái gì? Địa điểm của câu B là cái gì? Là sẽ cảm ơn sẽ đoán được. Câu A nó giống như cái gì? Giống như xe lửa đúng không? Vậy là là cái gì? Station. Ừ, tây station và câu B là cái gì? Câu B là cái gì? Airport. Airport. Đó đúng không? Đấy, không biết chọn cái nào đó, đúng không? Có nghe được câu nghe lại nghe lại nghe lại. Sick. Now listen again. Hello grandma. Can I carry your case? Oh, that's nice of you. Thank you for coming to meet me. Traveling always makes me so nervous. Don't worry. We'll be in the car soon and it won't take long to get home. Good. I'll be glad to get away from this noisy station. Noisy station. Mom. Có à, mom. What would John like to be? Okay, con phải nhìn từng cá con đoán được nha biết phải biết trước cái từ rồi mình đoán đoán xung quanh six what would John like to be what do you want to be when you leave school John you always wanted to be a professional footballer didn't you well I did I thought about being a doctor too but I don't think I could pass all the exams what about being an engineer like your brother It's a nice idea, but I think I'd like to do what my dad does. He teaches maths. See. School teacher too. What my dad does. He teaches maths. Teaches that maths. Seven. Which pianist are the two people talking about? I thought the most interesting pianist in the whole competition was Gavin Willow. Was he the tall one with long hair? Well, he was tall, but he had short dark hair and a beard. Ah, yes, I know. Short. Now listen again. Short dark hair. Okay. Now turn to part two, questions eight to thirteen. You will hear a talk given to visitors to a fashion museum. For each question, put a tick in the correct box. You now have 45 seconds to look at the questions for part two. Học sơ qua nhé.
Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Morecambe Museum of Fashion. Before we go up to the fashion exhibition, Clothes of the Future, I would like to show you some slides on the screen and say a few words about the history of fashion. I will also mention some of the important people in fashion. This will provide an introduction for you and will prepare you for the clothes that we're going to see in the exhibition. As I'm sure you know, nowadays fashion is something that almost everybody enjoys. People of all age groups and all incomes usually have an interest in what they wear. But this has only recently happened, and I will tell you why. Until the beginning of this century, it was only the rich who could afford to follow fashion. There were no factories to make many copies of the same article as there are today. Rich men and women wore trousers, jackets and dresses which were made especially for them. This picture here shows a young lady being measured for a dress that she will have made by hand, exactly how she wants it to be. Ladies' clothes in those days were long and usually tight-fitting and made of heavy material. However, the new century, the 1900s, brought new ideas. The important person at this time was Coco Chanel, who started making clothes in 1908 in Paris. Many people think she was the 20th century's most important influence on fashion. Chanel loved to wear loose-fitting clothes and produced jackets and skirts which everyone admired. Here's a picture of one of her ladies' suits. Even today, people still wear styles like this when they want to look smart. Young Paris designers all began to produce simple clothes and skirts started to get shorter. The idea of special clothes for playing sports also became popular in the early 1920s. Things like long shorts and tennis clothes started to become fashionable. Soon, factories produced these new styles more cheaply. And then, many more people were able to enjoy fashion. In 1947, after the Second World War, Christian Dior used all the new materials available to produce a fashion which was known as the New Look. As you can see in this picture, he made skirt lengths longer again. Later, in the 60s, flower power and student fashion were popular. In London, Mary Quant introduced short skirts. These were worn with boots that went up to the knee. <laughs> Look at the white shiny boots in this picture. And now we come to today's exhibition. Some of the clothes you will see today will be very different from anything which you have seen before. The exhibition aims to take a look at the sort of clothes that we might wear in the next 50 years. Let's go inside and have a look at the exciting clothes that are waiting for us. Now listen again. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Museum of Fashion. Before we go up to the fashion exhibition Clothes of the Future, I would like to show you some slides on the screen and say a few words about the history of fashion. I will also mention some of the important people in fashion. This will provide an introduction for you and will prepare you for the clothes that we're going to see in the exhibition. 
As I'm sure you know, nowadays, fashion is something that almost everybody enjoys. People of all age groups and all incomes usually have an interest in what they wear. But this has only recently happened, and I will tell you why. Until the beginning of this century, it was only the rich who could afford to follow fashion. There were no factories to make many copies of the same article as there are today. Rich men and women wore trousers, jackets and dresses, which were made especially for them. This picture here shows a young lady being measured for a dress that she will have made by hand, exactly how she wants it to be. Ladies' clothes in those days were long and usually tight-fitting and made of heavy material. However, the new century, the 1900s, brought new ideas. The important person at this time was Coco Chanel, who started making clothes in 1908 in Paris. Many people think she was the 20th century's most important influence on fashion. Chanel loved to wear loose-fitting clothes and produce jackets and skirts which everyone admired. Here's a picture of one of her ladies' suits. Even today, people still wear styles like this when they want to look smart. Young Paris designers all began to produce simple clothes and skirts started to get shorter. The idea of special clothes for playing sports also became popular in the early 1920s. Things like long shorts and tennis clothes started to become fashionable. Soon, factories produced these new styles more cheaply. And then, many more people were able to enjoy fashion. In 1947, after the Second World War, Christian Dior used all the new materials available to produce a fashion which was known as the New Look. As you can see in this picture, he made skirt lengths longer again. Later, in the 60s, flower power and student fashion were popular. In London, Mary Quant introduced short skirts. These were worn with boots that went up to the knee. <laughs> Look at the white shiny boots in this picture. And now we come to today's exhibition. Some of the clothes you will see today will be very different from anything which you have seen before. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, what? Phòng tám. Phòng tám nó không nói rõ, nhưng mà suy ghê. See you. See you, okay. Now, okay. Chính khó hơn. Um, for me. Fashion clothes with well made trước năm 1900 con. Tương tự cái thời đó. Đúng không? Cái thời đó, cái... Cái dòng mặt hạn chế như thế nào? Ây chứ, người ta tự may đồ. Ok. Người ta không có sản xuất đồ. Đó là nếu mà có thì cũng dành cho rich people, thấy không? Nếu mà có người ta kia, là rich people. Ok. Copy from picture, 1900 có hình như thế nào? Ok, có số 10. Ok, có số 10. Hmm. Đâu vẫn nhớ, ở uh, nhớ đâu có kêu winner sinh năm nào không? Trên bị của idea of fashion cái. 920 thì thời gian nó bắt đầu cho đến. Nguồn chốc cấp sport. Mình giờ nó hơi lạc đèo thấy không? Mà để nói về thời trang mà đúng không? Mà tại sao mà quay qua nó về vui mình chút tốt sport Đấy, lưu ý nè Cảm ơn các bạn Đồ cho thời trang Thời trang cho thể thao Chúng ta sẽ thật ở đường đi một lúc 
câu 12 nó nhiều ý Mấy cái khúc sau có khi nó không phải là của tình New Look nữa Nó chỉ có một cái thôi mà đúng không? Chọn ừ. cái nào gần nhất Sao con? Con Trong tâm cơ ấy là C C á Cái đầu tiên mà Cái khúc sau là nó không phải New Look là của Ở khúc sau là của người khác rồi New Look lúc nào là của Kristen Dior Ờ kèm về ba dễ hơn ba người ba dễ mà dễ nghe hơn à, pì pì đúng không pì ừ mà đọc cái này dài thì nè cái bên tay phải này con in 1947 after second world war Kristen Dior cái new look đó theo còn có khúc sau later later rồi con nó thành cây khác rồi phải không nghe rõ là cái gì ừ. flower power okay. student phải married one ok đấy cái nào lưu ý thì đó cái nào con nghe gần nhất đó khả năng cao là cái đó ok khả năng cao nó con chắc nghe đến cái đó thì cái cái cái, cái người ta đề cập gần nhất đó là khả năng cao là cái đó trời còn cái nào nữa ừ. Uh, the idea of special clothes for playing sport okay okay and cũng như đó thôi nghe để cho mình đó bây giờ đỡ hơn em thường thường mấy cái bài kia nó dài mấy này thường nó gần gần hơn now turn to part 19 you will hear a man talking about Tanya Perry's life For each question, fill in the missing information in the numbered space. You now have 20 seconds to look at part 3. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Hello and welcome. We're spending the first part of today's program talking about Tanya Perry. And with me today is Ray Potter, her friend and colleague for many years. Yes, well, I've known Tanya for nearly 20 years. Not many people know that she was born in London in 1948. In 1952, her parents moved with Tanya and her brother to the northwest. They lived in various places before finally coming to Manchester in 1956. Tanya spent a very happy period at school. In fact, she was in the same class as Jack Peters, the famous poet. David Thompson, the artist, was also at the school, a couple of years below her, I think. So it was an interesting time for Tanya, who actually began to write short stories while she was at school. One of her stories appeared in the school magazine. I have a copy here. It's extraordinary. You can see a lot of her ideas starting to grow. When Tanya left school, she didn't go to university, as Jack Peters did, but got a job immediately. She was never interested in university life, What she wanted was to be part of the real world, to meet different people and get more experience of life. So in the early 1970s, she became a waitress, working in what was then one of the most popular cafes in Manchester. She was writing at night, and in 1975, she had her first play performed at the Edinburgh Festival. She gave up her day job the following year to be able to write full time. Several of her plays were performed, including one at the Court Theatre in London. This was where she met film director Robin Newgate, who she later married. Robin introduced her to the film world, and in 1979, 
she wrote the story which later became the film City Life, which Robin directed. It won the prize for best foreign film at an important French film festival in 1984. Tanya could have moved to Hollywood then, but she was still married to the theater and to Robin, so she decided to stay here. Now she has 24 plays in print, 18 in translation, which makes her work very widely known all over the world. Dễ thở nhưng mà hơi thời gian hơi ngắn để mình viết xuống đúng không? Nó hơi nhờ lập nó hơi chuyển qua cái kia liền. Đây nghe lại nghe lại. Con làm được mấy câu? Bốn câu. Một, hai, ba, bốn, năm, sáu. Ok nghe tiếp nè. Thấy này dễ thở hơn. Tập trung. Now listen again. Hello and welcome. We're spending the first part of today's program talking about Tanya Perry. And with me today is Ray Potter, her friend and colleague for many years. Yes, well, I've known Tanya for nearly 20 years. Not many people know that she was born in London in 1948. In 1952, her parents moved with Tanya and her brother to the northwest. They lived in various places before finally coming to Manchester in 1956. Tanya spent a very happy period at school. In fact, she was in the same class as Jack Peters, the famous poet. David Thompson, the artist, was also at the school, a couple of years below her, I think. So it was an interesting time for Tanya, who actually began to write short stories while she was at school, one of her stories appeared in the school magazine. I have a copy here. It's extraordinary. You can see a lot of her ideas starting to grow. When Tanya left school, she didn't go to university, as Jack Peters did, but got a job immediately. She was never interested in university life. What she wanted was to be part of the real world, to meet different people and get more experience of life. So in the early 1970s, she became a waitress, working in what was then one of the most popular cafes in Manchester. She was writing at night, and in 1975, she had her first play performed at the Edinburgh Festival. She gave up her day job the following year to be able to write full time. Several of her plays were performed, including one at the Court Theatre in London. This was where she met film director Robin Newgate, who she later married. Robin introduced her to the film world, and in 1979, she wrote the story which later became the film City Life, which Robin directed. It won the prize for best foreign film at an important French film festival in 1984. Tanya could have moved to Hollywood then, but she was still married to the theater and to Robin, so she decided to stay here. Now she has 24 plays in print, 18 in translation, which makes her work very widely known all over the world. Okay. So, my ball moves to North Gate. West. West, okay. Cái thằng Chuck Peter là cái thằng anh chị nổi tiếng về uh, nghề gì the famous poet poet đúng rồi tao tao po poet wrote some short story stories work at a way continuing how okay waitress hầu uh, hầu bàn như con nhưng mà phụ nữ nè Waitress còn đàn ông là gì? Waiter. Okay. Lưu ý hai cái lỗi đó nha. Lỗi không phải. Lưu ý cái sự khác nhau giữa đôi khi nghề nghiệp nó phải phân biệt uh, con trai và con gái. Cách gọi khác nhau. Cái okay. chưa biết cái waitress này ghi vô. Một sau này con sẽ gặp một số thứ nó sẽ cũng vậy. Uh, như ví dụ như gì? Nó cũng có ESS -E đó con. Cái kia là waiter. Okay. Tại con nhớ được cái gì ấy đấy 
thì cũng sẽ từng từ vậy ở cái 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 tên phim mình gọi là gì cái gì waiter 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 ở uh, waiter 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 ở uh, waiter City life. City life. Các bạn nhiêu? Hai mươi mấy? Hai mươi phố. Hai mươi phố, đúng không? Hai mươi phố, ok. Dễ, dễ thở hơn tí. Ok, cái này mình phải suy luận chút nè nó sẽ nói mấy cái nhiều nhiều sẽ nhiều phải suy luận ra nó sẽ có cái nghe cẩn thận. Now turn to part four, questions twenty to twenty five. Look at the six sentences for this part. You will hear a conversation between a man and a woman at home. Decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. If it is correct, put a tick in the box under A for yes. If it is not correct, put a tick in the box under B for no. You now have 20 seconds to look at the questions for part four. To start. What shall we do tonight? Shall we go out somewhere? No, I'm tired. I've had a really hard day. That's a bit boring. Come on, let's go to a cinema or see that new play at the theatre. Not tonight. Why don't we rent a video and stay in? Well, I'd rather go out. But if you're tired, okay. So what shall we have? How about that new Italian film? Oh, no. Far too serious for me. I'd fall asleep. Why can't we get something funny? A film with Rick Moranis or someone like that. A comedy? No, thanks. I'm not wasting my money. Well, I'll pay if you're going to be difficult about it. Well, I'm not being difficult. I just don't want to see a comedy. Fine. Well, what else do you suggest, then? How about a Robert De Niro? We've seen them all. Maybe, but they're great films. Let's watch one again. Now you're suggesting something that's a real waste of money. And I hate seeing films twice, you know that. Okay, okay. What then? Oh, forget it. We're obviously not going to agree anyway. No, I tell you what. You go down to the video shop and choose a film. Whatever it is, I'll watch it. Really? And you won't be difficult or make me feel guilty. No. Go on. Off you go. I'll make something to eat while you're out. Great. See you in a few minutes then. Bye. Cái được cái này được nhẹ nhàng. Con nghe có ba câu đầu. Ba câu đầu hả? Ờ, có khi con bị miss đúng không? Nó à, chuyển qua hơi nhanh hả? Now listen again. What should we do tonight? Shall we go out somewhere? No, I'm tired. I've had a really hard day. That's a bit boring. Come on, let's go to a cinema or see that new play at the theatre. Not tonight. Why don't we rent a video and stay in? Well, I'd rather go out. But if you're tired, okay. So, what shall we have? How about that new Italian film? Oh, no. Far too serious for me. I'd fall asleep. Why can't we get something funny? A film with Rick Moranis or someone like that. A comedy? No, thanks. I'm not wasting my money. Well, I'll pay if you're going to be difficult about it. I'm not being difficult. I just don't want to see a comedy. Fine. Well, what else do you suggest then? How about a Robert De Niro? 
We've seen them all. Maybe, but they're great films. Let's watch one again. Now you're suggesting something that's a real waste of money. And I hate seeing films twice, you know that. Okay, okay. What then? Oh, forget it. We're obviously not going to agree anyway. No, I tell you what. You go down to the video shop and choose a film. Whatever it is, I'll watch it. Really? And you won't be difficult or make me feel guilty? No. Go on, off you go. I'll make something to eat while you're out. Great. See you in a few minutes then. Bye. Men be you know no more. The women suggest a hard video. Uh, I. Mm, can you? They both want to see something light. Both want to see something light. Uh, play two with B. B. Next will be. Yeah, uh, sign yeah. Hay chứ. The woman only like to see a film once. Mà cái thằng đó nó đề xuất xem gì? Xem cái phim, đúng không? Xem lại, đúng không? I hate to see film twice. Yeah. In the end, they decide to watch a video. Cái đó nó hơi mong lung. Thầy chọn cái nào? Thầy chấp nhận xem cùng con này. Thì... They watch a video con a video nó ở bữa nãy giờ ở trên là toàn là phim không đúng à không câu 21 của là video rồi. Nó bảo là con kia xuống chọn một cái video ừ. mà nó. Ờ video. Đây đây. Thầy hồi xưa chắc hồi xưa cỡ năm 2000 hoặc năm 1900 mấy cái video nó gọi là phim luôn. Bây giờ khác rồi. The man offered to prepare some food. Hey. Stop. Okay, go ahead. Stay here. 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 Stay here.